everyone. So today's video is what motivates me, what encourages me and what helps me to keep going when I feel like I want to give up or keep going because I want to get to where my goals are set. So number one, number one is visualizing my goal. So I am a huge fan of Google. I like to search all sorts of things, people's transformation so their befores and after people's bodies and how they've gained the look that they have now got over time so I like to use that as a way to compare and get ideas of what I want and how I'm going to achieve that uh, Instagram is a huge one I'm able to see people who are training to be up on stage and doing bodybuilding and people who are just like myself and just out there trying to lose weight and get a better and healthier lifestyle. Number two, so being able to keep up with my kids is a huge part of my motivation. I want them to look and see me out there playing with them and enjoying parks and fields and a bit of kicking the ball around. Not just sitting there watching. I see all too often parents sitting watching because they can't physically keep up with their children that's their life that's their decisions and that's perfectly fine for me I don't want my children to be like oh mum's not playing or dad isn't coming and you know we just have a lot of different wants for our children and what we want them to see and what they want what we want them to get from us as parents number three would be looking into my old favorite food and finding out it's stats, so it's fats, sugars and salts and calories. One of my favourite burgers alone was 820 calories. My daily intake is about 1200, so that was nearly all of my intake in one burger. That is not including chips, that's not including drinks. So I always used to get a burger, chips and drink. And I couldn't believe when I looked this up and found out that my favorite burger of all time had 820 calories that is it's disgusting it's amazing that my body could even process that and get that out of my system no wonder why you end up feeling so sluggish and laggy and gross after eating something like that it's you know everything in moderation but that you'd only be able to have like a bite <laughs> Number four, so family events is another huge motivator for me. Going to birthdays, just functions, um, Christmases, anything like that, especially if you haven't seen people in a while, is a huge motivator because you want to impress them with the changes that you've made. And you also want to show them that you care about yourself and that you might have taken some of their advice when they've said to you, hey, you've put on a wee bit of weight. But also, so you feel good about yourself, there's nothing worse than having like a photographer at an event and they go, hey, I'm going to take your picture and you're like, yep, sweet, you know, I feel great, I look awesome. They take a picture, they then get uploaded or you get given them and you feel absolutely embarrassed and horrible about how you looked. I've had that plenty of times and it is absolutely horrible. I hate the feeling. So I use that as a way to be like, hey, you don't want that to happen again. So let's get your A into G. Number five. Number five would be people's reactions. Whether it's a good reaction or a bad reaction. You know, you get people, whoa, gosh, what have you done? Have you gone on a diet? Are you working out? Have you, you've lost weight? You know, that's awesome. That's a cool feeling to see other people seeing it. Especially if you can't see the change yourself, which at the start you generally won't. Um, I like don't look in the mirror and be like, oh, I've lost weight. I have to take photos, so progress photos to see it. Um, and then the bear reaction, so people who like just recently actually happened today was going to do my stair walk with my partner and son and a lady said, oh you guys are working out and I was like, yeah, yeah, she goes, oh you should leave it till after you've had the baby. Thanks. I've actually lost weight since it's having my son, but I guess I was just bloated really. I have eaten a bit crappy since um, over the last couple of weeks due to some other things going on, but I just couldn't believe it. I was like, really? I'm sure I don't look pregnant. Like, that was a bit mean. But I use that as a motivator. So a bit, I was a bit dis, disheartened at the end, but like, oh, what? But I'm going to use that as a way to help me stay eating properly and exercising. So it would be unsupportive people. So people who don't 
support you in any way shape and form of your journey so how you eat how you exercise how you decide to do things from here on in and people who when you try to encourage them they just don't or throw it back they throw it back kind of in your face unsupportive people probably are the one one of the main things that help motivate me because I know that I'm doing something better for myself and I can feel the results I can see them in my photos and I know that it's probably because they don't want to make changes for themselves or they haven't planned to make changes for themselves so they're just a bit apprehensive and a bit um, I guess unsure of the unknown so they haven't done it before so they're kind of like oh well it, it's not for me or they've done it before and it didn't work so yeah unsupported people are probably one of my biggest motivators because I am wanting to make changes and I'm not prepared to let anyone and last but out. not least proving people wrong so it's kind of it's kind of like one off the last one but being able to say I told you so and showing people that you actually do have the drive and you actually do have that push to really try and better your life and better your future for yourself your family and like your children your friends even a lot of people look for ways to do things within their friends and if you can do it and i can do it then by showing people that they'll be like hey carmel's doing it i can do it too and use you as a way to motivate them so that's what kind of motivates me overall that's a bunch of things i think that i can highlight that help me to keep going there's a whole heap of other things but those would be the main things that i use to really give me a push and really help me to not give up so i hope that you found that informative if you want to see some more videos based on my journey and just my life you should subscribe to my channel i'll pop the link up here and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video thanks for watching